Are you looking for some deep new way to control all this? Do you keep relapsing only to start the cycle over, keep seeing the same information out there on every single video, and you just say to yourself, yeah, I know, I know, but I'm struggling here, or you just don't do what you mean to do? Well, I've been no fap for years now, and I wanna share with you my long-term benefits and results and mindset that has kept me to have it in control without any problem for well over a year. I wanna tell you about how I think about it because I think it can help you gain control and then not really ever worry about it again. Let's start with talking about what is robbed of you when you fap. So for me, in my perspective, it always seemed to steal my relationships away from me. It stole who I was to make them and it stole what they were that I did have. And this came down to the women in my life or the women I wanted in my life. Okay, so to look at this a little bit further and deeper, if there was not a woman in my life and I was not fapping, it was as if I was manifesting a power that I could bring to the table. It was a desire and an attention that really funneled down and was hyper-focused on the woman at hand. Same deal applies for now my girlfriend. I get to focus in on her. There's no one else. There's nothing else I pay attention, not in my mind. There's nothing that happens anywhere that is anything other than her. So it makes it such a much more powerful connection with her as well, energy and drive and strength. So the relationship, hyper, hyper focused on the people. When you fap, it almost gets spread out and dil diluted. So whenever there's some kind of a drive to release myself, I think about how it's weakening the system that I've built and this hard structure I have with her where everything goes in this really powerful waterfall just all in her direction. And not only is that sexier for her, but for me it's easier and there's never ever any sexual issues or problems. It's just always going her and that strength that becomes so alpha. She's She loves it and it's very strong in general. What fapping does is it takes away this power, this connection, and this individuality towards women. I think that anytime there's a hint of an idea of doing it, I think about it stealing it. Because if you do, and you have these connections, it washes it out, it thins it out, it makes it so weak, and then that spirals out, and then all of a sudden your confidence is, is affected. If your confidence is a little bit affected, now you're thinking that the whole world revolves around this no fat movement, then you gotta focus on it, now you're trying really hard and your energy's spread thin. It's like this vicious cycle, this downward spiral, where all you have to do is not do it and keep this idea of what you are getting. It's just an infrastructure of power with the relationships with the sexual energy of the people in your life and that is the number one way that I can manage to sustain from self-pleasure it's thinking about how it's robbing it from sharing it with other people I don't want to do it on my own it's either alone or or with somebody else. And if you save it up, kind of like money, you invest in not doing it yourself, you're gonna be able to give it to somebody else. It's gonna be really, really strong and beautiful. So I wanted to quickly interject here to tell you about something I've been working on and see if you've ever been interested in getting to this level of social status where you're represented by your best self. And this can mean getting the girl, getting the job, making friends with people you admire. And if you want to become a celebrity in your own circle, where you build meaningful and powerful relationships with high status people and become a leader yourself. If you're interested in this, click the link below and find out more about it. Now back to the video. Next thing I want to talk about is how you're thinking and what happens on a subconscious way. It's like an invisible type of thought. And when you are part of this, and you're doing the no fap, you know, you're not doing it because you're thinking of the results. You're not thinking about of what you get from it. You're doing it because it's part of you. And you know, you don't have to have a long history to have it part of you. It's that you are doing it and you're becoming somebody who does this. This is somebody that lives this way, somebody that, you know, treats themselves and the world around them with the respect and the determination to follow the word that they've given. And the word that they've given is to be 
a type of man that is most honorable with themselves, their body, and the relationship they have with that person. For me, what happens when you are this person, you become alpha, you just are. And when you are, it's kind of this subconscious thing. And I don't mean alpha in the cheesy way. I mean like you're a strong, sturdy man. It's on a deep level. The way you end up becoming more confident, calm, you end up holding yourself with a bit more stability. Even when the stresses come in, it's as if you just can take that extra punch, that one more punch, and not get knocked out by it. Yeah, things can still hurt, things can still be challenging, but it's a matter of putting up a fight and being able to take the punches. And there's something that subconsciously happens in the process of being that you're not really worried about the benefits or if you even get any anymore. It's just, are you the type of man that lives this way? So one more tiny thing before I wrap it up is that I feel like there's some physical benefits. I feel like there's a glow or a twinkle in my eye that has been there only when I'm on no fap. And it's kind of something that I don't really know how to word. It's just there's this life. There is something in me that is the opposite of depression. It's, it's, a, it's a lightness that seems to radiate from my soul. And it, it sounds so crazy, but I can feel it, I see it, I feel like other people see it. It's just a mood that you kind of carry into a room. When you are around somebody, it feels good. I don't know exactly what that is, but I feel like it's powerful. So to sum up this video, I wanted to clarify that the benefits of NoFap are worth ignoring and the whole process of focusing on it as this thing you do isn't really the right angle. I feel like that's just a, is you're constantly juggling it when you can set it down and still be part of it. So you can be NoFap by letting go of the process of it. You just have to be it. You just have to be a person that doesn't do it. You're a person who in fact holds their power instead of let go of it. So there's that and then whenever you are triggered or something, think about it as it's something you've invested in. It's like money. Why would you waste it on this junk over here when you can invest it and get something real and something important and more valuable and share that with somebody else or invest for a future person. So I hope this helps you guys. It's worked for me for many years. So yeah, cheers.